Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Mike or Geekamon, and welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Destiny 2 March Madness. Today's episode is a gun that we didn't think was even going to make it past the first round versus a gun everyone is betting will win. Will the underdog prevail? <sighs> I sure hope so. I'm tired of playing with the Jotun. I'm tired of playing with the Jotun, Grandpa. Today's episode, Tone Patrol versus Jotun. Jotun is somehow on the bottom. They're going to be the underdog going first, and then Tone Patrol, the real underdog, is going to follow it up. I have the OG Tone Patrol, too. This guy right here, if you don't know, was one of my favorite guns in year one, even though everybody said, this gun's not that great. I said, ah, 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 ah. Sound like a weed whacker starting. Ah, 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 ah. No. This gun is incredible. You just have to know how to use it properly. Dragonfly, high caliber rounds, short zoom, SLO, 10 post sight. Incredible weapon. Look, I even masterworked this bad boy for <laughs> reload speed. So without further ado, we're going to jump into the gameplay, starting out with the Jotun. And uh, thank you guys for all the love and support. If you're new, take just a second to subscribe. It means the world to me. Helps the channel grow. And uh, we'll continue this series. Right now, we're in the round of 32. Once I get to the Sweet 16, I'm putting a bracket out. The guns that win right now are going to the Sweet 16. I will put out a bracket on Twitter, and I want you guys to fill it out. If anybody gets it completely right, like the just the Sweet 16, if you get it right, I will send you... Something. Merch? A sign something? Something Haley done? I don't know. We'll see. But the winner will receive something. So uh, definitely uh, when the Sweet 16 hits, go check out the Twitter. I'll post the bracket over there. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into the gameplay. So it looks like first round, the Jotun went up against Telesto. Solid fight. Now the Tone Patrol went up against Ariana's Vow, which not that difficult. I feel like Ariana's is a fairly easy one to beat. So this is going to be the first real matchup for uh, the old Tone Patrol. While Ariana's, on the other hand, why did I get the kill with my primary weapon? What am I doing? This really is the first test for the old uh, the old Tone Patrol. The Jotun doesn't need any introduction, though. This gun, it's probably one of the best guns in Destiny 2. And a lot of people argue it's not that strong. You, it's not hard to dodge. People don't, okay? People in quick play, they don't get out of the way. They literally don't care about the Jotun. They see it coming, and it just hits them. Now, I will say, when a Jotun's on the other team, a lot of times, I found myself quite frustrated, but it's not impossible to dodge. Are there multiple AFK? Oh, we're p padding the stats, dude. Just padding them. Yeah. Yeah, we take those out here. Very nice. Uh... And that right there is why this gun is so good. It tracks the opponent. It's like nobody's business. I'm not kidding. Like, you get up in the air, he's got heavy ammo. Whatever. Free kill. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. This thing just maps everyone. I hope we don't mercy roll. Now, the one thing is we're moving into the round of 32, and especially in the Sweet 16, I'm probably going to end up refilming a lot of the uh, the mercy rolls because I don't want those games to be... Uh... The multiplier was a good way to do it for the first round, but I just I want it to be full, even games, you know? I'm trying to eliminate as many variables as possible, but you got to understand different maps and different situations. It's tough to do. It is really, really hard to figure out, okay, this map's good for this gun, this map's bad for this gun, but I think the randomness is what adds a lot of fun to it. A lot of you guys love it, and a lot of you guys complain in the comment section, but I just gotta tell you, I feel like there is no way to eliminate all the RNG. All you can do is face up, try to make it a fairly even fight, and then have fun with it. And that's what we're doing. That's the point of the tournament. When a 14 seed makes it all the way into the Sweet 16, and you're shocked, that's what's happening with something like Tone Patrol. Unfortunately for Tone Patrol, they're gonna have to put up a, a massive game because the Jotun is literally just rocking everyone right now. All right, who wants some? Who wants some? <laughs> I mean, honestly. The, oh, I missed. I'm dead. Just go ahead and kill me. Yeah, and I don't know if it's a console versus PC thing, because a lot of people that play PC tell me that the Jotun is not that strong. But, guys, I mean, every time I use this gun, it's just so consistent. Did you see that consistency right there? Just incredible consistency from your boy, Geek. You guys want to see the world's best tether? Ready for this? Enemy daybreak. Let's see. Where's the daybreak at? Yep, right over there. And bada bing, bada boom. It's just full sin. See what happens. There's one. Who wants some? Come on. Oh my goodness. Your buddy wants some back there? Sean, what's up, dude? I think we're doing really well right now. Tone Patrol is going to have to put up big numbers to be able to counter this. Even on this map, which initially I was a little worried about Jotun on this map. Because like we talked about, the the escape is literally you just got to get out of the way. So if you're able to do that, you're good to go. On this map, there's so many places to jump, so many open lanes. All right, they're capturing zone C. I'm going to go over and check it out. I just want, I just want to see what's happening over here. What are you guys doing? Oh, buddy. 
Oh, come on now. I got him. And bada bing. Golly. I think it's the tracking for me. I think that's what makes this so, uh, so, so strong is the tracking. Because if it didn't have that, you'd have to really line your range shots. But you don't. You don't at all. Like, literally, watch this bridge. Ready? I almost died to that. Three minutes. Zone C captured. Zone all right, where you guys at? Oh, wow, that feels bad. Oh, oh, got him. Got him, get him out of here. All right, what do you think? We, we flank him? Is that the play? I'll get that one down. Second dude out here somewhere. Yep. Ah! Took an hour to shoot that. Holy cow. One more guy coming across. Get ready. Where's he at? Oh, it's Sean. He's AFK again. Dude, if you're gonna edit the videos, don't do it while we're playing against each other, okay? Oh, my goodness. And that is how it's done with the Jotun. All right, let's take a look at the scoreboard. See what's shaking. 33, second place on the winning team, which means we don't get the bonus points. We don't get the two extra points. So that gives a uh, little hope for Tone Patrol. Something like first place on the losing team could be easy money. Oh my gosh, that guy put up 43 on the other team. Holy cow. GG's, Mr. Carroll. Good grief, man. All right, I'm gonna calculate the score and then we will hop into game number two. All right, so I looked at the Jotun. We have uh, 23 kills and we had six assists. We weren't first place on either team, so it puts us at 26 points. Very manageable. 26 points is very doable. It's not some crazy 40 bomb game. I feel like with 26, work hard enough on this small map and we'll have some hope to be able to get, uh, oh. oh yeah, we for sure could hit 26. I mean, for sure. Shotgun, got him. Yes, I forgot to start the recording at the beginning, but I caught it early enough, okay? I'd be a little concerned. I don't think I had any kills with the scout rifle, so we'll be fine. We're kind of getting bodied by this team, so if we can pull a first place on the losing team right here, we might be good to go. Wow, very nice scout rifle plays. Oh, my teammate just got destroyed by that last word right there. Oh, baby, come on now, tone patrol. I, I could have sworn there was someone else out there. Is he right here? Oh, there he is. Dude, I love this gun. This is why I liked it back in the day, and this is why I still like it right here. Bamboozle with the smoke. Hip fire king, dude. Ah! Sometimes you gotta get the kill, you know? Like, sometimes it just, it's like that. Look at our health. We have no health. Don't matter. If you beat me with the last word from there, I'm gonna lose my mind. No way. Get out of the smoke, Mike! I'm alive. Watch this tether. Mind-blowing how good it is. Gotcha. I know your teammates back there as well. And there's a guy behind me. I'm dead. Okay, he left us. We're good. I'm dead. Oh no, my tether. <laughs> I keep saying I'm dead, but I'm not. And I'm dead. Right? What? What is happening? Dude, we might be able to beat the Jotun. Are we on track to get 26? I feel like yes. I think one of the things I like about this scout rifle so much is that, yes, I look ridiculous up close trying to get kills with this thing. But in general, I feel like this thing at medium to long, or medium to short range is actually not bad. I think that's one of the things I like about it so much. But I don't, it's the handling of it. A lot of scout rifles just feel really heavy, really sluggish. Not this one. Yeah, he's back there. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Get out of the tether. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Four guys. My brain just went... I, I couldn't pick one. There was too much going on right now. All right, Tone Patrol. Come on now. There we go. Very nice. There we go. Very nice. I'm so self-aware about that now that it's just heartbreaking. Nice. Nice. I don't know. This is going to be close. Like, I, I'm not feeling like this is 26. You know why? Because Joe Rogan's a fan of the Jotun. That's why. All right, not a lot of time left here. Not much time left at all. This gun, when I'm at close range, ah! Oh! When I'm at close range, I feel like with this weapon, I should swap, I should melee, I should, but I'm trying to maximize the tone patrol kills and I think that I look ridiculous. I'm literally like this far out, point blank range. All right, okay, I'm gonna leave. Well. Did we get first place though? First place on the losing team. That's a lifestyle, man. I feel like comparatively with the two lobbies, this probably was the better lobby for Tone Patrol. Like the enemies were better. So let's see, 33. What do we have to hit? 23 kills, six assists, 26 points. Guys, is the Tone Patrol about to make an upset right here? Guys, is Tone Patrol about to upset Jotun? I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna check the score, and then we're gonna come back. But I think, that Tone Patrol might have pulled out the win here. It depends on how many assists we had. But those five bonus points, 
Let's take a look. I'm excited for the upset, man. You love to see it. That's what March Madness is all about. All right, Javelin 4 loaded in. Let's see how many kills we have with the old Tone Patrol. 23 kills with Tone Patrol. Seven assists puts us at, whoa, do we have the same amount of kills with both guns and one extra assist? Tone Patrol wins. Five points extra. That puts us 23, 3.5, 26.5 plus 5, 31.5. 31.5 for the Tone Patrol, who is moving on to the next round. You absolutely love to see it. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the videos. Hopefully you've been enjoying this series as much as I have. Don't forget, if you're new, take a second to subscribe. It means the world to me, helps the channel grow. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.